previously. Right, it is 12.25 p.m. so it's just getting around to the afternoon. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to preempt myself here in that I know I'm going to go grind out a bunch more lenses. So I'm going to use up this stack of 99. Now here's my thinking. We can make, what, 10, 13 I've Cthulhu's here. Now with those 13, we might get lucky with a 0.67% chance drop, and we might not. Either way, we'll still, either we get the drop and we don't need, need lenses, or we do what? Well, we either get the drop and we don't need lenses anymore, or we don't get the drop, and we're going to go farm lenses anyway. Oh, I'm bad at maths. 16, not 13. So it is 1.24, so just like 3 or 4 minutes, and we'll get the rest of the stuff uh, we'll get the evening on the roll. 16 of them? I don't know. I'm running out of space. Put this stuff away, please. For the, for the love of... all oh, that is good and holy. And then... Oh, the end one. Right. That will do in terms of putting some stuff away. I don't really care about anything else. We can sort it all out. I'll let it... You know, we'd never... One thing I've never done on camera is hunt down a rainbow slime. I don't think I'm going to. I've... I kind of do want to show it off, but they're so rare. The odds of seeing one are ridiculous. I think it has to be... in a hallowed biome during rain. I'm going to... I'm going to head across the hallowed biome anyway and dig up some more pale wood because we're running low on that. That should take us right around to when the night time begins, at which point we can defeat these Isaac Fulu, suspicious looking eye summonable items, and then get on with the actual ending scenario that I want to do. And then I can leave you with my thoughts. Hey. Give me that. Alright, so while I've been away, I've been away, um, in between sort of this recording session and the last recording session, I've been back to my um, world known as Weld to try to better set up the Dungeon Guardian Battle Arena. Because I really want to get that done, but at the same time, it was just be, it was so difficult, I couldn't do it. There was just it. There was something issue. There was an issue with the basic way of summoning him, and it wasn't working properly. Basically, because I was having a teleporter system, I would drop all the way down into the dungeon, which would cause him to spawn. I would land on a teleporter, which would teleport me back up, but he wouldn't follow me out. And that was a pain, because I needed him to follow me out so I could fight him in like a big open area. So what I've done is now, I, when I go into the dungeon, what happens is I land next to a teleporter. And now, if my reflexes are quick enough, I can jump into that teleporter quite quickly as soon as I see one spawn. And then I've got the timing down, so I need to give it a, a one second count and then step onto the next teleporter, because I've set up teleporters in a sequence, you see. And then give it a two second count before stepping in the next teleporter, then a two second count before stepping into the next teleporter, and then I'll be on the surface, and he should be right behind me. That's basically the timing of it. Then I test out my runway that I built, and I basically wasn't able to outrun the dungeon guardian, which is, it amazed me. Because I got the frostback boots, which make me super fast. So then I thought, these also provide extra mobility on ice. So my bridge, I layered it in ice to increase my speed. And I still wasn't able to outrun the dungeon guardian. And I thought, wow, 
This is just the biggest flaw in my plan. If I can't outrun him, I cannot battle him. So I was experimenting and I ended up just messing around, sort of flying up and down. And then it turned out that he's faster in a straight line than he is on diagonals. So by me, I, instead of just running out like this, by going up and down and up and down and up and down like this, it was forcing him to slow and I could outrun him by every so often landing, get my jump ability back and then flying around. So that is how I plan to do that and then my bridge is like 6,000 blocks long or something. Absolutely ridiculous. It's really long. Do I have nowhere to put fish? Um, and then what I did was the last sort of 400, 500 blocks of it I made out of blue dungeon brick to remind me basically if you've made it this far now is the point where you need to turn back because you're running out of road. 5.59, night time should be in about 30 seconds. So basically I will run all the way across and then up and down, up and down fighting the dungeon guardian. Once I get to the blue brick I'm like, huh, I need to get over the dungeon guardian or under him or somewhere to get back around and then go the other way and then same again once we get there I need to go all the way back and this might take me a long time so I was doing some experiments with, with damaging the dungeon guardian now his defense is so high everything does one damage to him unless it's a critical in which case it takes two doesn't matter if you hit him with this amazing uh, scythe or the legendary horseman's blade or you just hit him with a, a brick or something hit him on the head like that it's always going to deal one damage now I thought about using Icor because Icor has uh, the ability to lower the enemy's defense but it doesn't lower it by anywhere near enough to affect I thought it was 630 was night it must be 730 it doesn't affect his defense enough to do any more than one so Icor is out of the question but on the wiki I was reading about what he is susceptible to and I think he's susceptible, although he's susceptible to Icor, it doesn't work. I think he's fireproof and I think he's cursed flame proof. But I don't think he's proof against poison and a venom. Do we have a venom potion? Maybe it's poison. So I might you know, go into it with a poison potion as well. Just that the extra tick damage could help. Alright, it should be well now. There we go. So let's get these on with and smash him up like I say if he spits out little demon eyes that's, I'm happy with that because that will give me a lens I can't remember what he does or not though don't die in there please come on there we go didn't see what it is we wanted hello hello come on here there we go Still don't see what it was. Just gotta keep our eyes open. It is very, very low chance, remember, 0.67%. But we fought him so many times and we're fighting him so many times now. There is just that small but brief chance that he would drop this item. Now as far as I'm aware it is in the game. I don't think the wiki's lying to me on this. Where are you? What are you doing there? Give me all that. I'm filling up on these old potions. I, I'm binning these potions Ooh. because the, these potions are just so useless to us that, that they serve no purpose. I'm just going to throw them away. Again, didn't see what we wanted. This is our sixth summon this evening. We summoned four yesterday, that's ten. So by the time we've done with all of these, we'll have fought twenty Eyes of Cthulhu in this night alone. Uh, in this recording alone. Come here, you. I'll follow you all the way to hell. Oh heaven, depends where we're going. Yeah. Oh, we don't want that. I want this. Come on. Been that. No point selling them. I don't think healing potions are actually worth anywhere near any amount of money. Hey, what are we doing? Give me that. Like I say, it should pop into a hot bar. It might not, but. Look, these wandering eyes, those are the big fatter versions of the eye. They don't drop lenses, which is annoying because those are the ones you see more of than any other. I like to think these aren't different eyes of Cthulhu. I like to imagine this is the same guy and when you defeat him, you're not actually killing him. 
just, just sending him back to hell or whatever he's from. So basically we're killing him, sending him back to hell and then bringing him out and then sending him back to hell and summoning him, sending him back to hell and just keep doing that. Just, you know, really making his day miserable. Come here, you. Come here, give me all that. Oh, running low now. Yeah, we've got an inviting guest here. Get rid of him. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Well, on the bright side, we're going to have lots of Demonite off. <laughs> 700 of it on us now. We've got a stack of 999 in our actual um, chest down there. And I think, like, another 700 in our underwater base. You know, I might make a, make something out of Demonite Ore. What could I build out of Demonite Ore? That would look cool. Some kind of evil dungeon base. It looked like he dropped some um, wood then. Two more trophies from this guy. Come on, where are you? Here you go, come on. You're the last one. At least do me a solid and drop your amazing loot. Right, doesn't look like we got it. We've got 52 seeds, two more of these, 900 of that. 51 gold, wow. Who would have thought that Isaac Fulu was such a good source of money? Right, I'm going to pop this away. What? Can it not have any more seeds? Is it full? No, I knew it wasn't. It just didn't accept it when I told it to. Bin that, all right. We're going to get rid of all this crap that we've got on us. Yeah, I did the wrong thing. And then we're going to sort of round this episode off. And we're going to go to... I think the world known as world is probably the best place to do this. Because that's not in hard mode yet. And we'll set up our lens grinder. Our demon eye grinder, whatever it is. Where are the... There they are. So what are we going to need? Right, let's see. I'm going to do a lava, I think. We'll take lava. Why not? We'll take some dart traps, because... Why not? We'll take ten of them. I don't know how many I'm going to need for this thing. I'd prefer not to wire stuff up. But... We need a lot of lenses. Who knows? You know... If we're going to get it in the next 999 lenses. You don't know that, so I'm going to try and grind out a butt ton of them. Take that with us. I think that's all we're going to need. No, we'll need a timer, won't we? This one will do. We'll need something to build it out of. Grey bricks. Probably need some platforms also. Hmm, anything else? I don't think so. Hey, give me a... Take your lens off you when you're done. Look at that. Hey. Shut that down. In uh, this one. So build the thing, do the thing, put that in the thing, do those. I think that's everything we're going to need. So we will save and exit. We will go to the world known as world, at which point I can also show off the... Dungeon Guardian thing I've set up too.